Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Hilal Live. It's our legal slot. We, uh, we're chatting about a couple of issues that, uh, well, a video that's going viral. Uh, now, recently there was an incident uh, that went viral uh, with a video of uh, a young Cape Town lady that was a victim of bullying and intimidation. Unfortunately, um, there have been numerous of uh, other videos where school kids were also involved as well, and that also went viral. Uh, this then s- sparks public uh, outrage and questions our moral compass as well. However, when incidents like this happen, there are legal ramifications. To tell us more, Advocate Yusuf Khan Dalwai joins us in studio. Assalamu alaikum, Advocate. Walaikum assalam, uh, Lukman, to you and your viewers as well. Thanks so much for coming into studio discussing Thank a very you pertinent having me. issue. You know, the onset of social media, the onset, everyone's got a phone, everyone's got a camera on their phone these days and capture these moments. Uh, and often it, it, it questions our moral compass. Mm. I mean, why are you capturing this? I mean, you should be breaking them up, mm. you know, but because the world, you know, wants to now capture this and uh, wants to increase their social media followers, it's it's taken on a whole, whole different beast mm. with regards to how these incidents can unfold. Mm. More importantly, when there are children involved, you know, the latest incident we're going to get to a bit later about the one that went viral in Cape Town. But when there are children involved as well, there's so many questions that comes to light as well. But how does the law look at the word bullying? I mean, is there specific, um, you know, uh, laws that have been put in place? Is there an act that's been put in place? Tell us a bit more. Okay. Um a very important topic, uh, especially now of recent incidents, mm-hmm. and uh, many people are speaking about it. Yeah. So it's important to un- unpack it uh, so that uh, uh, people uh, may learn from this. Sure. Okay. And and not only uh, have negative uh, comments about everything, mm-hmm. uh, let us also learn from the situation right. and try and implement a type of restorative justice yes. within yes. our social circus- yeah. circles. So. The term bully or bullying, what is bullying? Bullying is a form of abuse right. with its physical, uh, verbal, emotional, alienation, mm. victimization uh, towards minor children. Okay. Now, here's the key word, minor children. Right. As targeted at minor children. Right. So, minor children then are uh, um, implicated by the action of his bully or her bully. And uh, there are certain consequences uh, that's associated to that, and certain uh, issues that develop yes. uh, from that. From that yeah. Right. So it's important for us to understand, uh, firstly, understand what the term bullying means, right. and then understand what the implications and what the consequences of bullying does to your child. I mean, the the mental ramifications, and I'm talking about the trauma that it leaves, outweighs the physical side in most instances. That's correct. Really- um, I'll give you an example. I mean, a couple of years ago, we were going to have, given my age away, 20-year uh, school reunion. And, you know, we were going to have a get-together. And there was this one bully in school that, and this was in high school even, you know, not even mm-hmm. primary school. And the first thought was with a few people that were in the group was, is this person going to be there? Mm. You know, because, you know, it brings back, it sparks all those negative feelings that that those, you know, sweats and mm. stressful mm. interactions yes. uh, that would happen. And remember, as youngsters, you know, you have so much going on in your life. And then mm. to be bullied as well, mm. you know, that's just, you know, uh, um, adds to... To everything that you're going through. That's correct. So it, it outweighs. Yes. Uh, and, and if you don't deal with that in some instances where people have been bullied mm. to the extent that it's affected their life seriously, yeah. if you haven't dealt with that trauma, it can affect you negatively. Definitely long term. I mean, you as an adult, I mean, if I yeah. should uh, invite that guy yes. over to say, look, man, please interview him, you're right. going to have, you're going to feel a bit unsettled. No, for sure. Although it's, you it's may f- even be much bigger than him today, but... Of an incident that took place, you know, in school. 20 years ago. 20 yeah. years ago. Mm. And, you know, it, it travels with you. Of course. So, um, we mustn't uh, misunderstand uh, uh, the word bullying. Bullying is not only physical. Yes. Very important. Correct. So, it's not about looking at bruises on your child, mm. looking for bruises, mm. uh, checking 
arms, if it's blue, the face or the back or, you know, the legs. Um, uh, some people focuses on the physical right. aspect of yeah. it, right? Yeah. But bullying is also emotional and psychological, yes. like you've mentioned. Yes. And that is something important that's hidden. Mm. That's hidden from the your eye. Mm. You, you're not able to see it. And that's what bullies prey on. That's and they it, use yeah. those tools yes, yes. because they know it's not a physical... Yeah you know, tangible, yeah. something you That's can touch correct. here. I mean, if 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 another child pushes your child, yeah. they're not necessarily left with bruises. Right. That push may not have been physically painful, but emotionally, the embarrassment, the humiliation, mm -hmm. everything psychological aspect is associated to that incident. Correct. That is the real issue here. Mm. Now, this is where parents need to observe their children, not only on a physical level, yeah. looking for physical scars, mm. also look for the emotional and psychological scars, okay? Don't mm. take things for granted. For sure. That, no, my child is okay, he's never been bullied, he never comes home with marks or blue marks or red marks or scratches. He may be so shy to even tell you about it mm. or embarrassed to tell you about it. And the flip coin, the flip side of that coin is that your child may just be a bully. Your child the may same be time the bully. As well. I'm not <laughs> yes. saying, please yes. forgive me. Yes. Uh, uh, we're just you know, talking yeah. in general That's here. That's a reality. Well. Yeah, yeah, it's a reality that so we face. There are certain tail signs that parents need to look out for and they need to educate themselves, mm -hmm. especially with the minor children in schools. Yes. And, uh, teachers are not always able to control uh, a classroom of 40 odd children. Oh, exactly. um, yeah. So the time due before school, during interval, and after school are normally the very prime times for the bullies to stand out correct, right correct. and do their job mm. now it's important that you that you observe your children when it comes to uh, uh, during the week and in the mornings are they demotivated yes. as the character changed a bit um, are they feeling lack of low self-esteem mm. uh, are they feeling uh, uh, intimidated by certain subject topics, you know, about school. Right. Um, are they even more excited when it comes to Friday, mm -hmm. uh, where, you know, there's no school now, and then Monday evening you'll see a bit of anxiety. Mm -hmm. Look, we can be blinded by it. We'll, we'll be thinking, no, the child has a test due tomorrow. The child has an assignment that must be handed in. Yeah. The child has to do a presentation. And that could blind us by thinking, no, that our children are anxious about something like that. Mm. And then without realizing there's actually something else playing in the background that we don't realize. And the child is afraid to speak up. Of course. And these are the consequences yep. uh, of... Absolutely. Please. We're going to take a break for Maghrib Salah. And after the break, uh, Advocate Yusuf Kandal Y continues the conversation on bullying. Do join us uh, on Hilal Live. You are still watching us on Channel 347. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Hilal Live. Uh, I'm Lukman Shadrach. And uh, before the break, uh, we covered a very uh, interesting topic about bullying. And as you know, it's plagued our country over the last many years where, you know, people, if not dealt with, uh, have been left with trauma uh, that's uh, lived with them for many, many years as well. In studio, advocate uh, Yusuf Khan Dalwai giving us great advice around that. Jazakallah so much for uh, coming into studio and chatting about this. You're very welcome. Pertinent, thank you uh, for having me. My absolute pleasure. So before the break, we chatted about, um, you know, when a child is bullied and, and, and we often refer to bullying as minors, but we all know that that has now progressed into the virtual world as well, where cyberbullying has become very prevalent. Mm. Uh, do you find that uh, that is becoming more and more, has it, you know, stopped a little bit? No, no. Cyberbullying has definitely been on an increase okay. because there's a lot of uh, issues happening be uh, regarding social media. Mm. Uh, children are exposed to it. Uh, they all, most children have mobile phones. Correct. Have access to, whether it's WhatsApp, TikTok, yes. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, yeah. all these social media. And that is when these bullies try and infiltrate uh, the minds of the innocent children right. and using their bullying tactics on them. Right. Uh, also by using fake profiles mm. and, you know, uh, lashing out at people, uh, uh, layering into uh, certain misdemeanors. Mm -hmm. And so it's definitely on the increase. And mm. our parents, like we've advised parents, to observe the children mm -hmm. uh, in terms of their behavior, 
the, phys uh, the physical body, uh, the psychological, the way of thinking, the character, yeah. if they're aggressive, if they have lacking self-esteem. Um, also, after they've engaged with social media or their mobile phone or mm -hmm. computer, observe them as well. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, uh, you it's don't engaged. know what cyber mm. bullying has taken place and uh, there may be some concerning factors uh, that you as a parent need to take into consideration. Absolutely. So with all of this coming into, you know, light and, and you know, social media these days, there's, it leaves nothing to the imagination mm -hmm. anymore. Everything is there. It's out yes. there. It's captured and it's posted immediately, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, as, as South Africans as well, we tend to, uh, not just South Africans, the world mm -hmm. at large tends to get drawn to these mm -hmm. videos. Um, is there an act or a some type of protection um, against when somebody is bullied? Yeah, so when we're referring to the bullies, we're referring to uh, school situations okay. uh, or scenarios for minor children or minor children at least, because that's where the target is. Right. Right. So there are certain, uh, there are four uh, very important acts uh, that... Uh, parents has at their disposal mm -hmm. uh, to utilize to protect their children against bullying. Mm -hmm. So the first one is the Schools Act. I'm just going to shorten, I'm not going to mention sure. the entire act, you know, for the purpose of making it easy for viewers to understand. Sure. The Schools Act uh, specifically make reference to bullies insofar okay. as schools are ought to introduce a certain code of conduct mm -hmm. and safety mechanisms for the safety of the learners, right? Okay, systems has to be in place. Uh, uh, um, operational uh, systems has to be in place okay. in the event these type of incidents do occur. Right. So the first point is at school, okay. right? Um, the, especially public schools, and mm -hmm. that is in the act. So mm -hmm. schools has a responsibility to protect children okay. from bullies, okay. right? And they must have systems in place. Then there are further acts that is the Child Justice Act and the Children's Act okay. that focuses more on restorative justice. Okay. okay? okay. Uh, when these acts of bullying takes place, mm. um, you, it can be taken to court. Mm. But the court's job at that point in terms of those acts are not to punish the bully, mm. Mm. but to try to do some remedial and rehabilitative uh, programs mm -hmm. and introduce certain mechanisms okay to resolve any type of conflict that may have ar uh, arisen in, during that period of time mm -hmm. when the bullying was taking place. Um, so that's a lot, there's a lot of focus on that. Uh, you know, rehabilitation, counseling, uh, the court may direct that uh, that child may uh, has to attend a program uh, for a period of time okay. to overcome. You know, you get right. children that's aggressive. Of course. Uh, and that's... Uh, uh, very becomes very physical at times, right. and these are times uh, if parents are not uh, monitoring and controlling it, it does get out of hand at the yeah. school amongst their peers. So I would imagine in that process they take into account what the child is going through. I'm talking about the bully now. That's correct. Um, when it comes to restorative yeah. justice, yes. um, maybe there's a trauma that he's yeah. going through. I'm not saying this is right, but um, so who would get involved in that process? Would it be the school? Would it be the governing body? Would it be you know, administration in the area? So it really depends on the circumstances uh, okay. surrounding that incident. So um, the, the Act also provides that in the event bullying was taking place and the school mm -hmm. was fully aware of it and did absolutely nothing to prevent it right. or to intercept or to do intervention mm -hmm. or put any systems in place mm -hmm. to prevent such bullying happening, that child... Uh, may, uh, there could be a civil claim against that school. I see. A claim for damages. Right. So schools are very cautious of it okay. and they're very aware of this uh, implications and they do have systems in place. However, I do feel, it's my opinion, mm -hmm. that it needs to be a little bit more, in fact, much more stricter than what it is. I see. We do understand that educators are tied up with lessons. Mm -hmm. They can't always... 
uh, 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 accommodate 40 odd children and attend to their behavior Correct. and the way they think and the way they act. Mm. and still do the lesson. It's, it's difficult, it's of hard. Course. And you can't monitor everyone during a break or after school. Yes, exactly. If, you know, walking to school yes. for that matter. There have been incidents, mm. there have yeah. been videos viral yeah. where you know, kids have been yeah. attacked after school, yeah. for example. Therefore, I suggested that uh, schools, the governing bodies, has, has to get parents involved, volunteers involved, to stand mm. at the corridors of the schools, between the blocks, uh, mm. you know, in interval, on the field, monitor these things mm. because just that presence would deter a bully yeah. from acting out. So, so that's the physical side, right? What yeah. about the cyber side? I mean, surely uh, there have been incidents that have come to light where kids and you know, bullies have mm. been preying on vulnerable kids yeah. in school virtually. Yeah. Yes. So uh, it's a bit technical uh, mm. in respect of uh, uh, laying charges against such a bully mm -hmm. uh, uh, because you need to be able to identify the individual All right. and prove uh, that bullying has taken, taken place. place yeah. That is the easiest part to prove that bullying has taken place. Mm. The difficult and tedious task mm. is to identify who it is. Right. So investigation has to take place. Uh, the uh, IP addresses has to be traced. Correct. Correct. Um, you know, all these uh, cyber uh, IT uh, um, investigations and forensics has to come into play mm. where that is concerned, mm. if you don't know what it is. Correct, yeah. Then there's one more act, mm. and that is the Harassment Act. Okay. If a child is seeking a protection order, now you first have to follow, at least inform the school, mm. uh, go to court and try and get mediation going. But if, the, if it persists, then you can go in the terms of the Harassment Act. Okay. Now, the Harassment Act in 2013, uh, there was an amendment that makes provision that mm -hmm. a child may approach the court directly without the assistance and guidance of a, a parent. parent or guardian. Wow. Right? However, I do encourage the children, you know, speak to their parents first, yeah. right, or their teachers, so that they, can, they may be guided by their parent or guardian or uh, an adult, mm -hmm. because that court system may even become more intimidating mm, for them, mm, right? Mm. Although they have that right. Right. They, but when a child is in that position and is now saying uh, to himself that tomorrow I'm going to go to so-and-so district court and yes. I'm going to file an application uh, for harassment and this bullying, mm, 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 right? Mm. Consider speaking to your parents about it. Okay. Consider speaking to your teachers mm -hmm. or any adult. Okay. To assist you. So, so one, we know that these acts are now in place, mm -hmm. and uh, for whatever reason, uh, someone finds themselves laying a charge mm -hmm. against someone. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what they go into yeah. the courts, police yeah. station. Yeah. You know. So the courts, the court is to obtain a protection order okay. against uh, that uh, comp uh, against the respondent. Okay. Uh, uh, in in so far as bullying concerned and there would be a protection order with a warrant gotcha. for a period of time, mm -hmm. right? And if uh, that order is violated, uh, then legal action, criminal legal action may okay. take place. Okay. But there are certain uh, circumstances pertaining to criminal legal action, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And th that comes to your question mm -hmm. about laying a charge. Correct. And the problem with laying a charge is if the child is under 10, mm -hmm. he doesn't have criminal liability. So oh. you cannot lay a charge against a child of 10 years old sure. or, or younger. Okay. Over the, above the age of 10, it, it can happen, right? right? Uh, but a child is never detained mm -hmm. unless it's really, really necessary. Yeah. And if he's detained, it would be separate from the adult detainees. Okay. Right? The social worker has to step in almost immediately. Right. Right. When the social worker steps in, it does a preliminary uh, interview mm -hmm. to see if the child is fit to be in court. Right. And then there's a preliminary hearing at court. Okay. Right. Okay. So the court is very closed. Uh, no other persons are allowed in the court mm -hmm. other than the the child and the uh, the legal guardian or parents of the child. Okay. Okay. So more recently, and the reason I brought this topic on today as well, and we decided to talk about it, is that there was a viral video that went, uh, sure, 
literally uh, in spaces of an hour mm. uh, around the country, around the world, uh, about uh, two young ladies that got into an altercation mm. where the one lady put another lady into a car, mm. drove her around, mm. intimidated her mm. verbally, and then eventually physically mm. uh, abused her as mm. well. Uh, I know there was a court case uh, recently. There was a court hearing in hearing, and I think it's been postponed till the 6th of September. Mm. And I'm sure our viewers would know we don't, we don't want to uh, mention any names. Mm. Uh, what happens in this an incident like this? Because this is now captured on mm. camera, yes. on video camera. Yes, there's and, there's there's uh, video evidence. Evidence. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, it was a sad uh, uh, video to to look at, mm -hmm. uh, especially uh, that we. Uh, stand against gender-based violence. Absolutely, uh, in the things. most opportune month That's, of August as yes, well. Yes, exactly. So unfortunately, whatever the, the story was or the circumstances that brought on that fight, uh, yeah. we, we're not going to discuss. Uh, like you said, neither would we mention names. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I'm watching the media and the social media responses, yeah. uh, uh, the word bully is very prominent. Mm. You know, that she was bullied. Yeah. And that brought got my attention to actually go and look at the video mm. because I was shocked to hear that a video of that nature uh, and to that extent, mm -hmm. uh, uh, in my mind, it was two minor children right, because yes. of the word bully. Correct, yeah. Now, the English definition of bully, yes, is anybody that is uh, bullying someone yeah. in the form of physical abuse. And Correct. If we look at the English uh, definition of verbal abuse or mental abuse or uh, alienation, but in terms of our law, mm -hmm. uh, it's referred to minor children. Right. Now, in this instance, and I, I watched a video and, and I saw, no, these are major children. Yeah, they're they're yeah. over the age of 18 or yes. way over 21 at least. Yeah. And uh, so that doesn't amount to bullying right. in terms of our law. Right. That amounts to assault. Right. So criminal charges for assault in all likelihood was um, mm -hmm. laid against uh, the offender mm -hmm. and uh, the, the normal legal process in court uh, would follow from there. Okay. So it was probably postponed for further investigation mm -hmm. and then it would, uh, a year, another hearing will take place or whether it's for further particulars. Mm -hmm. And then uh, she has to plea or whether she's guilty or not guilty. Mm -hmm. And uh, if she pleads not guilty, it will then go to trial. Okay. Right. So. That's, that is more in the criminal courts. All right, yeah. we'll pay uh, close attention to, to that as well. Jazakallah once again for coming into studio and giving us valuable advice around, uh, you know, protecting our children. Yes. And also engaging mm. to, to see their mm. level of uh, uh, engagement with their colleagues and, yeah. and, 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 and uh, you know, students mm. in school as well. Yeah. So uh, we look forward to next week's edition. Mm. Have a great evening. Thank you. Walaikum salam wa rahmatullah. That's advocate uh, Yusuf Khan Dalwai joins us in our legal slot today. We're chatting about the topic bullying. Thanks for joining us uh, from the Cape Town team, Sahel Barnes and myself, Lukman Shadrach. The Johannesburg team takes over until about 7.30 for Raz Patel uh, and uh, our great team in Johannesburg. Have a great evening. Assalamu alaikum.